The law of attraction is rubbish, trash, preached and practiced by many people called Christians. I've told you before, the spiritual father of the writer of, what's her first name? Something burn. Her spiritual father is a Rosicrucian. She acknowledges him in the introduction. I haven't looked at the others, but I know that when I couldn't take it anymore, when I saw the magic, which was the third release, I think she made in a Christian bookshop in Wari. Something made just snapped. I just went, what is it? Even if I have not looked at this book, I saw it first with someone, a relative. I read the blog. I just turned the back, looked at it. In, in, in about 15 seconds, I knew the book was not okay. But again, uh, Christians are a wonder. And they keep wondering why they have problems. That's why they are a wonder. I should say they are wondering with an O or an A. You can use them synonymously almost. Their forefathers did it for 40 years. Christians can be a wonder. There's, there's so much rubbish. You, you, you can't place one stone on another without having to stop, clear out all this rubbish. But I believe and know there will come a time when you just be able to go ahead. And there will be a time there will be people that know when to say amen. That day is coming. Nehemiah could hardly build. Said for there was much rubbish. Just went on. Something they would have just done. There's much rubbish. If you read that rubbish, like many of the other bags of trash being tossed around, pull it this. The, I mean, the walls are down already, and then you have all this trash here. And people keep trying to look for protection from the devil, look for protection from the enemy. But they're surrounded with rubbish. How can you can't build a fence? Do you remember when they mocked Jeremiah and said, even if a fox went up this fence, it would fall? It would fall if there was rubbish mixed in with it. But Jeremiah and Nehemiah took time and got rid of the trash. Trash will not allow the stones to bind. Trash will not allow the wall to hold. Trash will weaken the wall. Some of you wonder in your personal life, why does this seem the enemy can hit me when he likes? Hey, look here. There's trash in your walls. So any fox, any little fox the enemy releases, boom, your wall goes down. You wonder, God, you're my protection. He ought to be. But as we read on Sunday, Isaiah chapter 5, where God said, I will pull down his fence or his hedge, his protection. I will pull it down. He said, I will remove it. And when your fence is removed, have you not heard? It's exactly the same thing. Like when the Bible says, he that breaks the hedge, the serpent will bite. You break your hedge by mixing trash in its construction. Don't put trash in your fence. There's so much trash. Some of you listen to trash consistently. You listen to real preachers, then you listen to trash garbage men. Just everything you mix, and you wonder why it seems you can't stand on anything. Today, you're trying to be bold. The next day, you're, you're shaking your boots. You're scared of everything. You don't have a clue. You don't even know what you are. Your excuse might be, yes, we just recently came in from Babylon. So did Nehemiah. And those people of that, they, they took the time. The Bible says they were tired because of getting rid of trash. The Bible says so. They were weary because there was much trash. You know, sometimes we, 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 we have to drag meetings, getting rid of trash, getting rid of trash. And it can even make you feel weary. It makes me feel weary. Okay. But a day will come. There will be a people that have no trash in their block with their blocks. And we will build swiftly. 